So we are now live streaming the match before play. And the purpose of this video is to go through the streaming overlay control uh, panel and all of the different buttons uh, that are on this and how these can be used to control the overlay graphics uh, on the live stream during play. You can see here that I've switched to the match title uh, full screen overlay. And this is useful at the start of the match to give a nice tidy uh, start to the stream and also to cover up things like players warming up on the field and umpires putting the stumps in and groundsmen taking the covers off and that sort of thing. So uh, that's a, a, a good uh, thing to use before play if you want to cover that up. Um, when play uh, does get closer, uh, you can click on auto, uh, auto or auto with cards uh, to come uh, to reveal the video into the stream and the overlay graphics uh, being displayed. Um, just to explain what we mean by auto and auto with cards. So if we're on auto, that means that this baseline graphic will update automatically uh, as I score delivery. So if I click on uh, a couple of uh, balls, then we can see uh, these overlay graphics uh, updating immediately. Can um, hide the stream output to show the bowler's figures uh, in behind uh, there. Um, so all of this will update uh, automatically as we score, including things like made and overs or wickets when they happen, anything to do with a break, like a drinks break, uh, etc. Any milestone, so a batsman getting to 50 or a 50 partnership, etc. will all be prompted. Uh, automatically uh, into this baseline graphic. Um, when, if you're on auto with cards, then effectively all of that will happen uh, as well as uh, the inserting of uh, full screen, bang, bowling, uh, partnership cards, and also Manhattan's worms and run rate uh, cards as well uh, in between overs. So that, that additional uh, information uh, is supplied when it's appropriate. Um, we recommend that for the first few overs of a game, just using the auto uh, function, uh, because obviously uh, until there are a few runs or a few wickets uh, or a few overs have happened, then the auto with cards option um, isn't uh, quite as appropriate uh, because there haven't been any um, wickets, so there's no partnership, no extra partnerships other than the opening partnership, uh, for example. So. Yeah, we use auto to start with and then switch to auto with cards after a few overs or a few wickets uh, have fallen. Um, so we can now carry on scoring uh, and again just showing the update and uh, just talk through some of these other ones. So yeah, so if I uh, had a maiden or a wicket maiden or a dismissal, all of these things would uh, light up as appropriate uh, and clicking on them gives the ability to... Uh, play those uh, those things manually. If you're on auto or auto with cards, they will uh, occur. So we'll come through to the second over. Uh, and for example, if I very quickly uh, score a maiden over uh, by going through to six dots, we will get uh, a prompt for uh, this maiden over. So there we have it, that uh, showing directly uh, into the updating the baseline graphic and there we can see the uh, the manual button being up, um, uh, becoming active uh, as well. So for example, uh, if we want to come back to that, we can click on that uh, and it will show uh, that, ma that manual maiden. Uh, and then we can come back to auto uh, or auto with cards. Uh, likewise, uh, if I do a three four, uh, sorry, if I show the stream output first and do a boundary four, and this will be covered uh, in another video as well, uh, then this will show the uh, automatic uh, replay. So you can see the instant replay has become inactive and the replay uh, of that previous delivery uh, will play uh, into the stream. And we can bail out of that uh, if we need to. For example, the bowler is running in for the next uh, delivery. Uh, otherwise, it will play to the end uh, and revert to the live video feed. Uh, so you, all of those things, so we can see now that we've had an over or two that we can do, for example, a Manhattan as a full screen uh, graphic, uh, or for example, uh, a bank card uh, as well. Uh, which if, again, if we're on auto with cards, this will automatically happen at the end of uh, each over. If I come back to auto to get back to that normal main screen, 
then if we scroll down further, then we can also do things like uh, batsman stats. So we can show uh, a bit more information about uh, each batsman uh, or uh, each bowler. And we can click on the drop down to, to show the alternative uh, player if we want to. So going back to uh, Thompson for their first over. Uh, again, to get out of there, click back to auto or auto with cards. Uh, and that will resume the, the normal cycle. If you wish to display, a, and I'll just re-show the stream output here. So uh, if you wish to display a sponsor ad or a club ad uh, of some description, uh, you can select this from the image or video uh, drop down uh, menus and click show. So this has all been uh, uh, preloaded into the media folder. Uh, then I can show um, a, an ad, so here's one from Cricket Island, so click on show and that will show that uh, into the into the stream. Or alternatively, um, I can then come back to auto just for cleanliness and then I can also pick a video, so a Turkish Airlines one, and show that uh, into the stream uh, as well. And that will have audio with it. Uh, if there is audio on the on the advert, that will play into the stream uh, with audio. And again, if I need to get out of that for any reason, for example, the, the bowler is about to bowl the next delivery, I can click on stop and revert to the live video feed. To the bottom, we have the ability to show some custom uh, messages. Uh, single messages uh, will use the baseline graphic. Um, or the full screen will create uh, one that is full screen. Uh, and we can type in uh, anything that we want uh, into here. Bearing in mind that things like uh, play resumption, say after a break, is all now done through the scoring process. Uh, for example, you could uh, do something like uh, match reduced to 40 overs um, after a rain break and show that message uh, into the baseline graphic uh, at this point if that's needed. Um, or we could do that um, as, for example, a double message. Let me change that and go to show message. And that will show that uh, in uh, a double message uh, full screen. Um, there are other functions in here, for example, uh, the instant replays and slow motion replays. So these are the same buttons as here. So for example, if I want to see an instant replay uh, of that, then that will show that uh, replay that has just happened uh, of um, that delivery. Not bad timing uh, for that one. Uh, and again, we can bail out of that uh, or let that run to the end and it will naturally return to the live video. Uh, and the same will happen for the slow motion replay as well. Uh, there are other things here in case you need uh, need to use them. So no overlay will re remove uh, the overlay from the stream. Um, for example, if you've uh, made a scoring error that you need to fix, then you can uh, get rid of that uh, off the stream while you're doing that, um, etc. Uh, but normally auto, and auto with cards are the ones to use. Um, and as I say, all of these inactive buttons will become active uh, if you need to play them. Um, otherwise, if you're on auto or auto with cards, that will all happen uh, automatically. So that is the streaming overlay control uh, panel.